Hey, Jules. You want How's to talk it going? About, you want to talk about the auction? Looks like it. Are we, are we, have we got the auction going yet? Uh, Look, uh, we're not ready. We're still cataloguing, but okay, since you're filming, yep. we'll tear your father away and make him tell everybody about the wonderful things we have in the auction. Thank God you didn't uh, catch him um, doing something inappropriate like... What? <laughs> 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 Okay, uh, so the auction is on the 5th of the 5th. 5th uh, of the 5th? 5th of the 5th. Well, the, well, why not the 5th of May? I like 5th of the 5th. It's on the 5th of May on At Monday, 6.30pm. 6 6 the viewing is on Saturday, which is the 3rd... Of May. Of May. <laughs> 12 noon till... Uh, no! 11 a.m. <laughs> 11 a.m. He's the expert. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Monday the 5th the viewing will be on. From 9 a.m.? No, to 12 noon to 6 p.m. The auction starts at 6.30. Come on. Come. Auction starts at midnight. No, it doesn't. Come on, let's show. It starts at 6 30. Let's show them some of fantastic things we've got in the auction. Well, we've got lots of lovely inkwells. We've got inkwells, yes. We've got the pool bucket. My favourite is the candelabra. Can I start? Right over in the front. Can no, I... no, oh, go, go. All right, go. you can start. No, you go. No, no, no. No, 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 <laughs> Don't hurt me yet, I haven't finished cataloging. <laughs> Hurry up, go, talk no, to him. Okay, obviously Mandy doesn't want to talk about it. We've got a huge collection of orange... A collection, <laughs> not <one>. collecting. <laughs> this is a lectin. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a large collection of oriental wear from the state uh, in Ringwood. Uh, We've got a large collection of everything What was his surname state? again? Giuseppe... Dio Gardi. Dio Giardi. Yeah. Dio Giardi. Dio like, Giardi. He's, he's a state. And there's a large amount of paintings, oriental items. Ah, but there's more. We have a massive collection of um, writing boxes, inkwells, fabulous inkwells. The Paul Buckley collection. Pens, collected over bottles, 40 years. Yes. Jazz, and we've got the collection of Satsuma wares from the estate in Ocean Grove. Oh yeah, we've got lots of satsuma yeah, from there as well. Sat. Let's walk around, we'll show, give you a quick overview. No, no, you walk around, I'll sit. You'll sit? Okay. Got, got lots of jewellery too. We've got the lots of jewellery, you can see we're still packing it out. Would you like packing to have a look? Packing it out or unpacking it? Yeah. Would you like to have a look in there? Hello. What Hello. are you doing here? It's nice to see. This is Julian, if anyone they doesn't know, know him. him. Uh, he's here today doing some photographs. Because he knows how to use the camera, unlike David, who doesn't. And he's just shown me today how to use macro on jewellery. So from now on, <laughs> anyone who wants to see improved photos on our website, all the jewellery is going to look a lot cleaner now and better. Because it's well good done. stuff we have, hey? Okay. Jules, let's have a look. We've got heaps of jewellery from the estate. Uh, from the estate in uh, Ringwood. And uh, lots of oriental wares all around the place. We should just really have a quick look around, walk around, follow me around. And we've got nice lacquer boxes, really nice ones from Russia. These are some of the uh, Paul Buckley collection of pens and inkwells. Let's have a look along there. Just walk, let's walk Of course the, um, the photos are going to be on the website. They will be. That is a fabulous... That's from, that's from the estate in Glen Waverley. That's ivory. And we needed this picked up so urgently, Julian picked it all up. Well done, Julian. It was, uh, it's Anglo-Indian? Yes, that's Anglo-Indian, about 1850, 1880. This is also from the same estate, the Cedar Chester drawers. Um, four to six hundred dollars estimate on it, very low estimate. So these are heaps of things in these cabinets. There's a lot of art from the estate in Ringwood. Show them that huge collection of Poissoni. It's going as one lot. But the clients mightn't be able to afford it. One lot, look, all that in one lot. But we've got, got a $50, $50 starting bid. Do you think our clients can afford that? They should pay triple at well, least. They should pay a lot more. Everything's and it's still nothing. Everything's got low estimates in the auction. Because the Hurry up, the, 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 the batteries are flashing. No, don't do that. <laughs> oh, don't before, we, before we continue, yes. what's most important, right, is my new gaming chair. Oh. Oh. So you're bidding on that, Jules? Oh, yeah. It's the uh, La Caboussier oh, style. 
So every every young man with an Xbox needs one of these. We have to show no. Paul Buckley's collection. Cool, huh? Let's go over this <laughs> cool. way. Have a look. You're filming it all around. This is the Satsuma and the Kosame from the estate. They'll all, they'll all be on our website. They can't be. miss them. What about this? This is a very rare Moorcroft vase. Yes, you, it is. you couldn't find the details for that, could no, you? That's come in from an estate from Geelong. So we've got items in from all over Victoria. Let's have a look at these inkwells. Let's have a look at the inkwells coming up. There's heaps in here. Well, actually, they're all over the room, so it doesn't matter. Nice cabinet, too. Have a look. There's more here. In the cabinet here, there's heaps here. There's so much to look at. You, you just we've got so many items. To I like with. these fellas, these phoenixes. Have a look in there, Mandy. Look at this. Shall I open this up? You can get an idea. Can you see all those inkwells and all the little miniature ones? Unusual things, too. I love this one, this one, too. The boat and the little hat. There's some wonderful things. What about this over here, David? I love this. I love a candelabra. That, that. that I, love. Is stunning. I can't really see it in the sun because I'm shooting into the sun. But that's stunning. Look out for the photo of this. What's the lot number? Number 127. 278. 278. Look for lot 278. I think it's absolutely stunning. Some more here. Some more from the Paul Buckley. I can't just flick. You can't flick? Yeah, that's a fabulous that. box. Isn't it? Beautiful. That's right. That's the Paul Buckley estate. No, he's not dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you're still alive. Sorry, Paul. Paul, <laughs> you're not dead. You're he with us. He's 73 years old, but he's no, not dead. No, don't tell anybody how old he is. <laughs> okay, don't so. Kill him off. Don't kill him off yet. So the bottom line is, David, yes. they've got to view our website yes. because we've got young Julian, the expert photographer, who's doing the and photos. The and the IT, who's doing the photos as we speak. Wow. Oh, by the way, plug your um, cameras and security if anybody wants. Yes. Oh, yes. If you guys ever need CCTV, I'm the man. You know where to contact us. Yeah, go through the rooms and Julian will do a He's done them at job. home and in the auction rooms and, and he's done a good job. And have also done industrial, commercial, yeah. for Coles Express. And, and he's like looking that. for more work. Work, and work, work. We, he needs money, he... money, money. And he, he, he can... His parents don't earn enough in the auction business because you people don't bid enough. Correct. So don't forget, <laughs> when's the auction, Mandy? 5th of the 5th. 5th of May. 5th of the 5th. Hope to see you. Bye, bye. And come in and, ring, and come in and hire Julian to do some work for you. <laughs> he wants to do it for you. Anyway, see you at the auction or see... the viewing or both. Okay, bye. See you later. Bye.